Milwaukee Hammer. Come on. But not hammering very well. This is the K500ST. Not the best of hammers to be honest. Are a wee bit prone to problems. Hey, can't just lift the cover off. It also goes through the handle. You to take the handle apart too. Then you can take the cover off. You can hear the air skipping there. It's lost compression. Those o ring and the piston is wore out. And more than likely the one on the striker as well. Ow. Just going to do a quick repair in this one. Don't think it needs a full service. That's the o ring we need. Everything else in here seems all right. Grease is a bit blackened looking, but it's not that bad. Still have a bit of white grease in it as well. So it's not completely wore out. It's not that old. You get these hammers and drill mode as well with boring functions. You get clutch gear on this as well. This is just hammer only. So we'll change a couple of O-rings here and get some fresh grease. It should get this up and running again. Problem with us, bone dry. That's why she's not hammering. That, she's just completely dry. Now. No grease in that o-ring at all. Probably could get away with keeping that o-ring, but for the price of two o-rings, we'll change them as well. Not doing a full service on this, so not washing everything out. So make sure you've got a good gob of grease inside. Make sure she doesn't go dry again. Push that on. Another good gob on there too. Good measure. This, <clears throat> this all has to be done together. Steel ring, your selector over the piston. Keep that steel plate, drop them all on together. Leave that selector hanging on the piston. 
You get your hammer pipe. Slide that on. Locate the selector. And then guide the piston on. And press on that oil seal. It's on fully. Then reinstall your C clip. Simple as that. Now, to make sure this doesn't dry out again, I've got plenty of grease on it. And that is technically what's wrong with this hammer. The chamber on side is that bloody big. And that deep. The chamber's that deep. All the way down to here. So whenever that hammer's running and that grease liquefies, it's just sitting down here. The piston's way up here. So the grease isn't actually getting into the piston. So there's about that much of a gap between the bottom of the machine, bottom of the hammer chamber, or the gearbox, the top of this hammer pipe, before the oil again. on. And when you're hammering, straight down, same thing, the grease starts to pull down here, doesn't get up here to the piston, con rod, very unlikely getting onto the chamber itself. So that's, I'm going to put a lot more in yet. There's that big a chamber inside of this, it's wild hard to actually overfill it. So don't worry about how much you're putting on, just don't fill it the whole way to the top. And that's your selector. Know you've got it selected right. When one mode is free turning and hammer mode locks up, and then this should be free turning. Issue that's it on right. Bolt everything back down again. Hammer.
much better. That's her. One Milwaukee hammer. Up and running again. New O-rings and a bit of grease. Soon gets that one hammering again. Like I say, main problem with it is the size of that gearbox. All the grease just sinks to the bottom. Doesn't get near the piston at all. So eventually just dries out. That's a quick and simple fix instead of just servicing the whole thing again. I don't think that one has done too much work to require an actual service. It's not all that old looking. And yeah, that's a cheaper option if you have one of them.